Right, so um, I'll do a little bit of a pan. I'll do a little bit of a pan, and uh, I will tell you I paid eight three eighty six. Uh, I'd be really lucky if I paid eighty six pound for this, but no, uh, three hundred and eighty six pound, including commission for everything you see here. Um, I will tell you now, in the um, sort of interest of clarity or honesty, uh, a couple of the items I will probably just get my money back, maybe make a little bit of profit. Um, but I thought I'd show you them because, you know, that's how it goes. You make a few fails and the rest of the stuff more than makes up for it anyway. So it doesn't really matter that you've made those fails. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you when we get to the fails, I'll show you them and all that sort of stuff. And you can have a good laugh at me. Um, but I don't really mind. You can laugh. I, I don't mind. I, I always find that when you get people to laugh at you, people laugh more with more um, vigor and people laugh. Uh, out loud a lot more so I always try and encourage people to laugh out at me and not laugh with me because when you laugh with someone you, your laugh isn't as big and bold as it could be so yeah always laugh at people rather than with people but make sure you get their permission to laugh at them before you just like randomly laugh at them but everyone on is watching this video you have my my permission to laugh at me if I make a mistake because it's funny so yeah, anyway, let's without all the weirdness, let's get on with it. Um right then, so camera flight case. You could argue this was one of the fails, but to be honest, I think I still make all right profit on it. I bought this and inside it was um that's what it was stickered up at the auction as, by the way, a, a camera flight case. Uh, and inside it was some of those pottery you know, ceramic uh, oh, what do you call them? Plates. I can't, couldn't even think of the word plates then, but yeah. Um, plates there, so I probably, like, I paid a tenner plus commission for that and the plates. I'll get my money back on the plates, you know, maybe make a little bit of profit, um, and then the, you know, camera flight case will be profit on top. Don't know what I can get, but it's a nice looking case, as you can see. Um, I've sold really little piddly camera cases for a tenner, so I've, I've got to be, I've got to say, that must be 25 quid, something like that, if not more. Um, but obviously I'm going to have to do some more research, so... Yeah, that's quite nice though. Um, right then, what else? I've got die cast. I paid fifteen pound for one plus commission uh, for one lot of die cast, and the other one was uh, included in the Action Man bundle. So I'll talk about price of that one in a minute. Um, but what I've done is I've separated. Uh, I've sorry, I, I combined both of the lots of die cast, and uh, I've taken out all the not so great one, the not so great condition ones like ones with wheels missing and that sort of stuff and not great ones really um, and put them in there and I'm probably I will double check it to make sure I've not missed out any you know uh, and put any good ones in there but um probably just going to do that as job lot um, and just get it out and then all the good ones here um, I'm obviously going to sell individually or in, or in very small bundles so that's what's going on with that Coming to the Action Man stuff, this is the, uh, the lot that is going to excite a lot of people, I assume. Um, I love selling vintage Action Man stuff, but I don't get my hands on it nearly enough. So, uh, yeah. So, with the vintage Action Man stuff, I paid £65 plus commission, but that was with a box of die cast. So, the die cast will make me the £65 back of it. Well, what, like 75 80 quid back with commission. Um... So that'll make me that back, and then the Vintage Action Man stuff is profit on top, or vice versa. The Vintage Action Man stuff will make me my money back and a bit of profit. And then the die cast will be more profit. Whichever way you look at it, it doesn't matter. It's the same outcome. Um, so, yeah, we've got space suits. We've got, oh, my God, we've got loads of jackets and things in here. Loads of different ones, you know, as you can see here. Um... We've got a load of sleeping bags there. We've got a bazooka. I've seen this bazooka go for a tenner on its own, which is crazy. Um, and we've got so many guns, like little guns and stuff. Not necessarily big guns. We've got a few big guns, like like that one there. Now, I've sold, like, where are we? Like, uh, three of these, like, these style guns or, uh, you know, like, three other bigger, like, slightly bigger style guns. There was one there, but I'm looking for another one. Not that one, there was, there was another one in there, but I don't know where it's gone, it must be somewhere else, but, uh, oh, there we are, there we are. So, like, three of these, like, style guns, you know, these guns here, 
um, for like £10 just on loan for like two or three of them. So there is really good money in this stuff. And then we've got loads of grenades and loads of little guns in there and loads of sticks of dynamite. And these all be well in bundles. Um, obviously we've got some sort of, uh, you know, army uniform, well not army, but like a, you know, like a officer type uniform thing. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what what class these uniforms are, but, you know, they, they seem more like um, higher rank uniforms, that's what I'm meaning. We've got some scuba diving stuff uh, and things like that, and we've got a load of sleeping bags, and we've got this really cool knitted jumper here that I think might do well on its own, you know, not mega money, but, you know, okay. Um, so, yeah, some really decent things in there, and we've got loads of, you know, trousers and things here. And then here's all the sleeping bags, loads of sleeping bags under here. So, yeah, some decent money in that. I would imagine about 100 quid, if not a bit more. So, yeah, quite happy with that. I mean, if I can match up some uniforms and things like that, sometimes, like, little uniform bundles, well, not uniform bundles, but, like, um, a uniform on its own will do quite well with the jacket and the trousers and stuff. Um, unfortunately, no figures, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. There's still good money in the clothing. And we've got some boots and so Is that an odd number of boots? Yeah, we've only got an odd number of boots there, so... There might be another boot somewhere in there to make... Because there's only five in there. Yeah, there's only five there. That's weird. But yeah, so... There's that, and that gun wants going back in there. So that was with some of the die cast, as I say. There should be some decent money in that lot. Um, load of annuals and books and stuff I got for 15 quid. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be about 60 quid in that. I can't see that being a mega, mega score or anything, you know, it's okay, um, I'm going to get some money back on it, but it wasn't the best buy by any means, uh, we've got some Beano annuals, Tom and Jerry, we've got some nice old books there, and a load of other magazines, children's magazines and things, and uh, there's also like some uh, programs and stuff like that for, um, like, not movies, but what's the other thing, like, uh, oh, what's it, like pantomimes and uh, you know, opera things and stuff, like programs for those sort of events. Um, I also got that Star Wars Galaxy Battle with the Action Man stuff for 65 quid plus commission and with the die cast. And that, I've seen one on eBay um, for 35 quid listed. Don't know what they go for sold. I, didn't, I, I, I don't know why, but I just checked listed for that one for some weird reason just before I went live. I didn't bother clicking sold. It would have only taken like a second, but I didn't. So I don't know. It might not actually go. You know, It might not sell for 35, but one is listed for 35. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Some money in that. Um, we've got this shoots away. I got that for 20 or 25 pound plus commission. Um, yeah, really cool that. Uh, one sold for 63 and the other one sold for 103 and there is none on at the moment so provided that is all complete and all cool even if it isn't you know I've got some decent money in that anyway incomplete because it's just one of those games that will go for decent money incomplete but um, yeah if it's complete and everything I'll be shooting for the stars on that probably like 100, 110, 120 and we'll just work down from there because I've got room to work down from from there anyway so yeah that's cool although you know with these things there's usually one or two little bits missing so you know the, ma the main thing is in there but there might be obviously I know the main things in there but there might be one or two little bits missing um it's not going to affect the price drastically because it's quite a uh, it's a sought after board game and also it's you know there's hardly any avail av you know availability of it so yeah I, I don't think that's going to hurt it loads anyway um but, as I say, those plates were with that flight case. I've got a little job lot of studio pottery. Ignore that Chinese vase, because that was with this pottery in the flight case. Got some more studio pottery down here that was in with that lot. Um, I paid like 10, 15 quid for the studio pottery. Ooh, knocking things off. Although, for some reason, I do feel like some of the studio pottery has gone walkabouts, because I swear I had more pieces than that. So, I don't know. I think... Yeah, I think they've gone walkabout somewhere, but, you know, a lot of the studio pottery, it's very, very slow. Might be able to get, like, 15 quid a piece, something like that. Um, this piece is okay. It's not been amazing, though. It says, uh, I know you can't, it doesn't focus in very well. Let's see if I can get this to focus in. Uh, one sec. I'm trying to do this with, oh, this is really hard to do. It says Lovats or something, Lovats Langley. Langley wear or something, like is it? 
Langley wear. So yeah, few bits of pottery there. Uh, another fail at the back there. Uh, don't know why I didn't even view this on viewing day, um, but I bid on it for some reason. It was it was going for ten quid. That is the cheapest bid that my auctioneer goes down to at my local auction. Um, so it was going for ten quid, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll put, uh, you know, I'll 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 put a bid in for that because. You know, why not? No one else is bidding for it. But actually, that should be the indication that maybe it's not so much of a good thing uh, to go for. You know, if no one else is bidding on it. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But more often than not, if no one else is bidding, then it's because no one really wants it. So, or there might not be any money in it. So, you know, not always, don't get me wrong, there's instances where people might just not know that there's money in it. And, you know, it just goes really cheap. But, um... Yeah, I'll probably get my money out of them, but that's about it. So it's some silver, I think it's some silver plate or something, or uh, just some cutlery there anyway in a knackered case. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a fail. Uh, my other fail is over there. Um, I got some silver plate in this box here. Oh, I got this silver plate thing with the silver plate. Uh, the other egg cups are actually in the box. Um, it actually, it does actually have all four. As all four egg cups, but I, I failed when I was getting it out of the box and uh, dropped all the egg cups inside in, in, into the bottom of the box. But that is really nice. I imagine I'll probably get a 20, 25 quid, something like that for that. So that's quite nice. I paid like 50, no, I paid 20 plus commission for the silver plate. Got some sort of dish down here. Like, oh, I don't know what that is. It's like a segmented dish type thing with a lid on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, one sec, I'm just going to get over here. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to get round. Um, got a pewter tray with some sort of little set there, a little teapot and milk and sugar and stuff. So that's quite nice. Get some money back for that, obviously. I don't know what this is. Now, I've seen them a lot. They are quite, well, I'd say they're fairly common. Um, and yeah, as I say, I've seen them a lot, but I don't know what it is. I've never had it before, so if someone could put... The name of that down below, I'd really appreciate it. It's got this little grill type thing in here. And it's also got a stand down there that it goes on. It, you know what it looks like? It looks like, I'll put that down there. It looks like a trophy, but it's not, I don't think it's a trophy. Oh, there's the egg cups, by the way. We've got like an entree dish, I think that's how you pronounce it down there. And then we've got a couple of other little bits in there, nothing spectacular. So, uh, yeah. So that was that job lot. Nothing major, major in there, but there's still some nice items and a little bit of profit. Um, oh, and we've got that cake. I think that's like a little cupcake type stand. I, I don't know, something like that. Um, I don't know whether that would have been its original use, but certainly that's a, a good a good use for it, a little cupcake stand or something. Um, so yeah, that's all in there. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something in a sec, and hopefully... You will see what I see in there. Can you see them? They are a pair. That, these are what I was uh, referring to. They are a pair of open barley twist brass candlesticks or candlestick holders. Uh, yeah, really nice they are. I do not know what I can get for them. Um, I can guess if you like and we'll play the ads guessing game and see if I'm actually right. But um, these are not uh, these are not your standard candlesticks these are not going to go for your bread and butter range of maybe 10 15 maybe closer to 20 quid if you're lucky on a you know a standard pair i imagine these will be about 25 something like that maybe 30 maybe something like that i don't know i might have a really decent pair and they might even be more than that but we'll play the ads guessing game and see if i'm anywhere close when i'm do when i'm doing my research on them i'll i'll have to check if i'm actually uh, really close or not um, and then we've got some other standard bits and bobs in there. Also, I did pull out from the brassware job lot uh, this little sort of thing. I believe it, it, it its use would have been maybe for a kettle on here or something like that or some sort of pan. Uh, and then you put like a little candle in there or something and obviously it would heat it up. I don't know. I think that that looks like what it was to me, you know, its use. So, yeah. And then that just flips down like that, so that's quite cool. I imagine there's some money in that. You've know, got to be 15, 20 quid in that, something like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I got a vintage tin, which was with another lot that's kind of all broken up down here, which I'll show you in a sec. Those things on top of there, and that tin was, as I say, with, with, with this broken up lot. So I will show you this now, actually. 
Um, so we've got some sort of clock. It's a Smith's clock, I believe. One sec. Uh, if I can get into this. Can you see down there? It's Smith's, it says here. Yeah, Smith's. Um, does it say a date down there? No, it doesn't say a date. Now, I've been looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, you know, that has a really... It, it does look a little bit... Well, I say really, I mean a little bit. It does look a little bit like Art Deco-ish, you know, 20s, 30s kind of style. Now, I'm not an expert in this stuff. I could be completely way off, but I don't think this is that old. I think this is probably like 50s, 60s. It's a reproduction made to look, you know, like Art deco -y. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm new to this game. I don't know whether, you know, I don't have all the knowledge. I don't think, you know, I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing, but I, that's what I think personally. It doesn't have its key or its pendulum. I don't think I'll check. Pendulum? I said pendulum then. I meant pendulum. Um, I don't know. I'll have to... No, there's no nothing rattling around in there, so I don't know. But yeah, still, it's quite nice. Obviously, it needs some attention. I believe there would have been a glass front on here, and that isn't there. As you can tell, you know, I can put my finger right through. Um, so yeah, you know, I mean, it's still quite a nice little thing, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that anyway. Um, so that was in a lot. £10 plus commission I paid... Oh. There's a little chime there. Uh, Ten plan plus commission I paid for this. Plus, as I say, though, that tin in there and those egg things on top of there. Um, shelf of some sort, just a little hanging thing. You hang something, you know, put something on that shelf. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's that. There's flat iron, bread and butter thing, really. A bottle covered in leather. Um, a like a little like fishing trinkety type box thing down there. Um, uh, a couple of figures of a couple of men, uh, thermometer, and then a few other little bits of trinkety type bits on here. And then under here is some sort of like carving in metal or something. Don't know, it's weird. Let's get these off so I can show you properly. Um, right, what have I, have I showed you? Yeah, I've show, yeah, okay. I, I just forgot where I was then, where I was up to on the hall. Um, so yeah, it's like hard to see, but it's like a little wooden piece with like this metal sheet on it and they've done some sort of carving into the metal or something i don't know um but yeah so that's that i put that back with those in there um this is really nice from the brassware job lot really lovely i don't know what you would call this is it an urn would you call it an urn is that the right name for it i don't know i, I just don't I don't know, an urn maybe, it, it sounds like the right name to it, but I don't know, um, not 100% sure, it's got like goats on the side of it, it's got a really nice little uh, lid with it, it's always nice when you get the lid, uh, obviously it's some sort of, I, I imagine some sort of eastern, uh, you know, made in uh, Far East or something, um, but yeah, just quite nice, but, you know, there's got to be some money in that, 20, 25 quid, something like that, yeah, so that's pretty cool, and, well, oh, and then, in that little job mixed one, oh sorry, the uh, batteries go in there. Uh, in that little mixed job lot down here, um, yeah, little uh, brush. It's not. I don't think it's silver plate or anything, but I don't know. Um, and then, oh, we've got. I've got to be very quick now because my battery flashing at me. I've got ten percent left. This was another fail. I paid ten quid for this. Don't know why I did it again. I didn't even view it on viewing day, but I thought, oh yeah, that's cheap. That's going cheap. I'll bid on that, and yeah, I did. So. Yeah, it needs uh, restoring this box. I'll probably get my money out of it because there's some cutlery down there. So I'll get my money out of it with the cutlery. And I will advertise that as obviously being restored or something. Or maybe just give it to someone who can restore it. Because I'd like to see that being... Obviously, I'd like to see that being uh, restored and really looked after and uh, made to fit for, you know, for a purpose. So... Yeah, um, so that's that. But I'll get my money out of it, so it's no trouble, you know. With fails, they're not fails. and As long as you can get your money out of them, it's not really a fail, is it? So, yeah, I should be able to get my money out of that and, and move on, really. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, and then I got, which was, this was a decent buy, actually. I got all these uh, sort of carved wooden figures. We've got this lovely uh, bust of a woman here. I, it's very, very heavy. Um... I don't know whether it's ebony or something like that. I really don't know, but really lovely. I'd, I, I'd be guessing at what I could get. A lot of this stuff is make up your price, really. 
I would be thinking 40 or 50 quid to put on that. You might be thinking, whoa, what are you doing? That's way too much. But, you know, I, I do. I, I couldn't bear if it went for much less than that. You know, okay, maybe 35, something like that. But I couldn't bear with something like that. Really heavy, solid, nice, decorative piece. It would suit, you know, it would really look well in a certain environment, you know, in a certain home. I couldn't see, you know, I, I couldn't bear to sell that for much less really and then we've got a load of other masks down here that one's quite nice and see that going for 20 25 um yeah so that's quite nice and got a load of other ones probably all different styles of wood all you know all different um types of wood and stuff like that and then we've got loads of these in here oh, that's a bit of a weird one but yeah uh loads of different ones in here i mean a lot of the time you can see these at like craft fairs and stuff like that and we have we, we stick them up on it about 50, 10, 15 quid a pop. You know, it's quite a lot of money. Um, so, yeah, I paid £45 out of the £386 that I spent. These cost me £45 plus commission. So there's a lot of volume in here. There's probably about 30 pieces, maybe 35 pieces. So, yeah, you know, even uh, like a tenner a pop, if you can get a tenner out of money you pay each then, you know, there's some fantastic money. So... Yeah, quite happy with that. I mean, hopefully that one and maybe that one put together will get me my money back. So, yeah, we'll see on those. Bit of a punt, but really cool. I like them. Weird, wacky, just the sort of thing that I would like to sell. So, yeah, quite happy with that. So, that is everything. Um, I'll just give you a final pan round. I'm sorry it was very rushed, but... Oh, no, sorry, we've got this uh, lovely brass sort of charger. Now, that would have originally been a tabletop. Uh, it's like a... I think it's like Eastern, uh, it would have been made in the East somewhere. Really, really cool. Sorry, I'm getting shortness of breath here because I've been talking for so long. Because um, obviously I've recorded this video a couple of times now. But um, yeah, so I uh, that would have gone on a tabletop. And it's really, really cool. Uh, I've seen, there is one on that's very, 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 very similar to that. I can't stress the very enough. Um, but very, very similar to that. And it's on for 75 quid. Probably shoot for about 60 myself, because on solds, they've not got that much. They've not been doing that well. So, yeah, we'll see on that one. Um, but it is very nice. It is really nice. Paid £15 plus commission, so like 18 quid, something like that, 17, 18 quid. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong for that, because even if I get 50 for it, you know, and I will definitely get 50 for it, um, you know, still good money in it. So it is one of those items that's going to take a fair bit to sell, maybe three, four months to sell. But I have sold one before. I sold an octagonal one uh, that I got for 12 quid from the auction. And I sold that for 49.95 plus shipping or 49.99 plus shipping. So yeah, definitely get 50 for it. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a like, all that sort of usual stuff down below. If you would like to see more uh, hauls and stuff then you're kind of just gonna have to wait until I've got through this lot and I'm going out buying again But yeah, if you'd like to see more hauls, you know, just give it a like down below and uh, Yeah, also I'll be doing a sales update very soon. I need to do that. So yeah, thank you very much guys and uh, Yeah, oh don't forget leave a comment down below with uh, Maybe your favorite items from the haul. What did you like the most all that sort of stuff and uh, yeah, I'll be sure to reply to the comments. So yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. See you very soon.